guys, let's talk about another layer style called bevel and emboss. You've probably seen this effect even, you know, way back when, you know, just using PowerPoint or Microsoft Word, they even have some bevel and emboss effects. So right click, layer styles, bevel and emboss, you're getting good at this, I'm sure. You can see this subtle kind of curve to the edge of my letters now. I'll undo that, redo, undo, redo, oh, went too far. So there you see this becomes a little bit more 3D as well. So this is another option. If you drop down the bevel and emboss, um, you'll have all sorts of options. You can change it from an inner to an outer bevel. Um, change it to emboss, pillow emboss. I mean, there's all sorts. So I use this pillow emboss when I was creating a candy bar in uh, After Effects for a Ghirardelli graphic. I created a you know just a basic bar with some brown, and then I put the Ghirardelli logo, and I used a pillow emboss on it, so it created this nice kind of effect. Let's go back to outer bevel or inner bevel rather. You can change the depth, you can change the size um, of these things to make it look a little bit more curvy. You can soften it up to make it less of a dramatic curve. You can change you know, the angle of it so it's coming from the left or another side of the text or whatever layer you put this on. And you can change the colors of the emboss. So you have this, you know, a greenish emboss or whatever you want. Um, you know, change the altitude and the angle, as I mentioned. Um, so yeah, lots of options for you to use the bevel and emboss effect. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Play around with it. That's how you're going to learn and how you're going to get to know when you should use this just by looking at it, seeing when it fits. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.